I'm 104 years old, and I'm the oldest living Pearl Harbor survivor. Uh, I was a Naval Reservist. I joined about five years before the war started. We assembled here in San Diego, and then from San Diego, they assigned us to uh, a minesweeper, and then they sent us to Pearl Harbor. On the 6th of December, uh, at night, we'd go on the operation sweeping right outside the harbor. And that uh, morning, we spotted the submarine trying to get in the harbor, and we reported to the USS Ward, and uh, then we thought it was uh, the end of our duty. I went home and went to bed because I was so tired, I hadn't slept in all night. And I told my wife I didn't want to eat breakfast, I just wanted to get some sleep, which I did. And then after, uh, I thought it was about five, ten minutes of sleep, she came over into our bedroom and called me and told me that everything was on fire, that we were in attack. I went out and saw uh, the harbor on fire and all black smoke from the oil uh, from the ships burning. And so it was dark, black dark. And I felt terrible to see all those ships on fire and the men struggling to keep alive in the oily water. Tears came to my eye because of the destruction of the ships and more important, the lives that were lost. I never will forget it. I went through the whole four years of combat. I was on troop transport. It was named LaSalle, USS LaSalle. Some of them came back all torn apart. I just couldn't handle it anymore. So I did my job, and that's what I did. When I got discharged, I just took some time off, and then we first rented a house in Mission Hills. Then we started saving, and we bought a house. My daughter had grown up, and she met this young man. He was from the Navy, too. They got married and had a granddaughter for me. They were all very young. The baby was about a year old. Uh, the girl was about 18, and the boy was probably about 19. And they were going uh, up to L.A., and they were hit head on by another car, and they were killed. They killed my daughter and uh, my granddaughter instantly, and uh, he passed away about two hours later. It was quite a shock especially to Margaret, my wife. She went to her grave thinking about them. We missed Peggy, and uh, one day we were talking about the accident, and she suggested, why don't we adopt? So they went to the adoption agency, they told me, and asked them if they could find an older child, not a baby. And uh, so they came up with me, and uh, I was five years old at the time, and that's how I got They got me, and I got them. She just filled the empty gap that we had there. We didn't, turn her, uh, didn't uh, treat her any different than anybody else. I can't do it, some things anymore. That's one. Uh, reasons why I'm going to the gym on the kind of the exercise. I used to fall quite often. I used to fall just walking. So that's when I started taking care of him 24-7. He was in a walker, but he was getting close to being in a wheelchair. So Sean says, well, we're going to work on him, uh, getting his strength up, getting his appetite back. He gained 20 pounds of pure muscle in six months. Now he's sailing. Have a good day, guys. Thank, Thank you, you, too. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. The 50th anniversary of uh, Pearl Harbor was coming along. I said, would you like to go to Pearl Harbor for the ceremony? Kathy talked me into going, because I didn't want to go. And it uh, reminded me all of the destruction that I had seen. Well, we went uh, to the 50th, and then we went to the 55th. And then the 60th, so I said, why don't we just go every year from now on? And so that's what we've been doing. I am especially glad for him because as to me, he's he is now getting the recognition that he deserved. And then when they find out he's 104, 
then they're really thrilled. They want their picture taken and <laughs> his autograph. It just seems to make him really happy, and I think that's very cool. I really like to think about it because it, it makes me feel that I, I, I can see all the men and my friends that I made in the Navy make me feel a lot better. I'm not a hero. I, uh, uh, I consider that if what I did was part of my job, part of my life, part of the uh, country's uh, uh, survival. I, I would go back to the Navy if they would accept me and go on from there.